emphasizing the importance of respectful communication even in the face of opposing ideas. As an alternative, T.D. Jakes should consider revising his own sermons in light of Jennings' helpful assessment. This reflection and willingness to adapt can demonstrate humility and an openness to altering one's beliefs in the face of criticism, all of which can foster spiritual and personal growth. If T.T. Jakes finds it impossible to resolve their differences, he may prefer to focus more on his personal ministry rather than starting a public spat. If you ought to disregard the criticism, you may be able to lessen tensions and allow each preacher to pursue their own route without causing unnecessary strife. Choosing to engage in self-reflection, communicate honestly, or just focus on one's own path is a more useful alternative than attempting to silence people who disagree. These strategies may promote harmony, comprehension, and progress among religious communities. TV Jake's desire to pursue legal action against people who discuss or criticize him raises concerns about free speech and the free exchange of ideas. When someone gets sued for expressing their opinions, it can discourage others from speaking up or providing constructive criticism. This method may give the appearance that strong people are above criticism while also constraining the freedom to free expression. Furthermore, taking legal action might intensify disagreements and create a polarized environment within the religious community. Instead of creating harmony and understanding, this technique may exacerbate tensions and expand the gap between Jake's fans and those who have misgivings or opposing opinions. Open communication and transparency would be a considerably more effective strategy for T.D. Jake's. Respectful communication with naysayers